Okay, so this is the seasons diagram um, that you are able to do for the um, earth and sun portion of your choice activities. So um, this is the more hands-on sort of task and idea. So first things first, if this is the page that's in front of you, awesome. Make sure you get your name put up at the top. Okay, I don't want to have to try to think like, whose was this? Okay, so this is Earth Seasons Diagram. The only materials you're going to need for this project is the diagramming of Earth's orbit. And that is already attached for you. Okay, we'll look super old school, but this is what works. Okay, so your procedures. On one of the circles representing the Earth, label the following. Okay, so first of all, I want to just see, I only need to label these on one of the circles. I'm going to just try to get it closer for you. Okay, on one of the circles representing the Earth, I'm going to label. Okay, and then I need to be sure to label the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, the Tropic of Capricorn, and the Antarctic Circle. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. They go in order from top to bottom. Okay, so if I were to turn it over here, and let's just say I don't choose this very top one because it already has quite a few lines coming away from it, maybe I want to come choose the southern one. Okay, so this one would be the Arctic Circle, Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, the Tropic of Capricorn, And then you have the Antarctic Circle, Antarctic Circle, okay? So then, number two, label rotation and revolution. Place the labels on the appropriate arrows in the diagram, okay? What that means is you have this random label, and this random label. Which one is rotation? Which one is revolution? Okay? I'm not going to label that for you because that's a big thing you need to know. Okay? So you need to come back and complete question number two. On the first line under the appropriate circle representing the earth, label the following. So December 21st or 22nd, June 20th or 21st, March 20th or 21st, and September 22nd or 23rd. And then on the second line, you are going to label the appropriate um, like event. So whether it is the spring equinox, the fall equinox, the summer solstice, or the winter solstice. So. On each of these four circles, you have two lines, either above or below, okay? You are going to put the actual date, okay? This is just an example, by the way. You are not to write date, but the date goes on the top line, and the event goes on the bottom line, okay? So the date goes along with number three, so step number three. And the event goes along with step number four. Okay, so you need to tell me which one is December, which one is June, which one is March, and which is September. Okay, we've already talked about this. If you refer back to your notes especially, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, your PowerPoint notes, if you took those, um, for sure, it's got to be in the other ones too, basically lays it out for you. Okay? So, 
so that. So you have to make sure you come back and do this and this. Okay, then answer the following questions. What date did the following seasons begin in the Northern Hemisphere? You are going to use these dates. Okay, from question number three to fill out question, or step number three to fill out question number one. On the first day of each season, on which of the lines you labeled in step one do the direct rays of sunlight strike the earth? So, the what you are also going to put here oh, is from step number one, okay? During our summer, this is all in reference to the northern hemisphere, which of these lines Silly pencil. Okay. Which of these lines is getting the most direct radiation? Okay. With me so far, I hope. What is the name of the first day of each season? So, what you are going to put here comes from question or from step number four. You need to tell me whether it is an equinox or a solstice. Okay? Did I spell that right? Solstice. Equinox. Okay. Let me second guess myself in these things. Okay? So these are easy recall that you get from the work you did up here. Then we get to questions four, five, and six. So if the earth were not tilted on its axis, were, where would the direct rays of sunlight always strike the earth? You are gonna tell me what line of latitude. Okay. So again, this would be like step one. In which direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, does the Earth rotate and revolve if you are viewing from above the North Pole? So looking down from the North Pole, is it moving clockwise, which is like in this direction, or is it moving counterclockwise in this direction? Your doodle notes will help you with this one. Then finally, what causes the earth to have seasons? There are two major reasons for this, okay? This is gonna have to come back from prior knowledge, okay? Once you have completed this whole page and labeling the whole page here, okay? Then you can submit this assignment. It is not done until the questions are done and the labels are done, okay? Any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out to your teacher and we will be happy to help. Thank you.